What is going on, everybody? This is Ty Smith, Minor Renaissance Man. Uh, I got a list of songs that I got from all you guys. Like I said, it's over 250. I think it's like in the range of 300 for the moms I'm going to roll down. But anyway, I was excited about this because y'all know who it is. And I'm serious. All I do is I go up and down this little list of mine. And then I just stop. I open my eyes. And wherever my finger is pretty much on, that's the song I do. This is Stevie Ray Vaughan. Okay? And it's Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. It's called Pride and Joy. Alright, so I'm about to go ahead and get on into this. Cheered at the end and all that good stuff, you know, but I'm just saying I I've been standing up and moving. I mean security probably would have to come over and I'm just saying I would have definitely been moving to something. Anyway, y'all already know it. You can't see your Avon. When I get a guitar and start playing, the first thing I'm gonna start playing is the stuff that he's doing. It might take me a while, but trust me, you guys, I have a really good ear for music and all that. That's the only way. The keyboard, drums, bass, organ, and piano, all I know how to play by is ear. So I don't care if I have to play the thing slow, especially Voodoo Child. If I had to start off just... I don't care. Just to get the few little things going to begin, I do not care. But, yeah, I'm eventually probably get me a guitar, so... Steve Ray Vaughan, I definitely got inspired by somebody that's not even alive no more. Isn't that awesome? Really the, the really the first guitarist I really ever really heard that can play like that. But there is a buddy of mine that I grew up with, that church camp and all that named John Donosky. The dude is bad on the guitar and the bass. I'm just telling y'all, I'm not saying that they're trying to promote him or anything, but his name is John Donosky, and I'm telling you, he is bad on the guitar. Um, anyway. I was when I used to see him play. I just I guess it was always this thing where I was always playing the keyboard, the drums, or the bass, and never touch a guitar. So of course I would be like, man, this dude can really play. But he'd say to me, man, you can really play. But this stuff Steve Ray Vaughan doing is on something different. I mean, from what I'm told, you told you guys tell me he had to play like the nine string, whatever. I guess those are strongest strings you can get. And some people even said he had to play like on some piano strings or something like that. So that's some major stuff right there. But dude, hands was super strong, you know. But uh, anyway, Steve Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, Pride and Joy, 1982. I was probably, I don't even know if I was even born yet. Probably not yet, but I was probably born sometime because it was in that year. But anyway, I'm going to quit rambling on. It's about a Renaissance man. Hope and pray that you guys are all in good health. You have shelter. You have clothing. You have food. And most of all, I hope and pray that you guys all have, I already said it, didn't I? Health spiritually, emotionally, and physically in Jesus' name. God bless you.